The scripture says that the five who were foolish didn't take enough oil, uh, olive oil for their lamps, but the other five were wise enough to take along extra oil. All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. That's the parable in Matthew chapter 25, verses 4 and 7. I want to ask you this morning, have you ever considered the preparation that's required to become an Olympic athlete? Well, these special athletes train for years in advance, often for just one chance at performing on the world stage. They maintain rigorous schedules in order to be ready and in their best shape when the day of competition arrives. Well, Jesus shows us the importance of wise preparation for his return, which is, of course, vital, a vital part of living a life on purpose for God. Now, of the ten bridesmaids listed in this parable, only five of them were wise enough to prepare for the coming of the bridegroom by taking extra oil for their lamps. The other five foolishly neglected to bring extra oil for their lamps and were therefore unprepared when the bridegroom finally arrived. So here are a few reminders for you as you prepare for Christ's return. First of all, notice that nobody forced the preparation of the wise bridesmaids. They took their preparation seriously because they were eagerly awaiting the return of the bridegroom. And God will not force your preparation either. Second, you can't buy spiritual preparation at the last minute. Just like Olympic athletes, your preparation must be a constant process. And then third, you can't get in based on the preparation of others. Each bridesmaid was responsible for their own preparation, and the same is true for you. So ask yourself today, are you regularly cultivating a deep and personal relationship with Jesus the bridegroom? Pray and ask the Lord to help you be wise in your preparation for his return. I'm Ray Jones. And that's another hard truth for your day.